Welcome in to Sweets Post Game presented by Cascade Natural Gas. I'm joined alongside a high efficiency player at the game, and Leo Rivera. Leo, obviously a tough one today, falling to Corvallis, but good offensive game for yourself. Able to get a multi hit game again and get back on track a little bit offensively. Just speak about seeing things on the plate tonight against a good amount of different arms. Yeah, definitely. I feel like uh, I've got the short end of the stick a few times this last week, so it's definitely good to get some, uh, at least one bleeder in there. Um, just try to do the same thing, uh, stay stick with my routine. Um, yeah, I'll get back after it tomorrow. Tomorrow you do see Corvallis again trying to round out the series strong, but away from all that, let's talk a little bit about the season as a whole. It's been a good one for you. Coming straight from Whitman where you had a great season with the Blues and continuing that with the Sweets. Talking about that seamless transition, now going to LC State. Kind of just picked up where you left off. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, baseball is baseball is baseball, so it's just getting to know the guys. Uh, uh, a lot of younger guys, so trying to catch those guys up to the speed of the game, um, but just try to keep doing my thing, stay consistent, and uh, yeah, stay relaxed. And then going back with a guy who, a younger guy, you've kind of taken a little bit under your wing. You've known him for a while. He got the start in left field tonight. Kind of a wacky spot, but Kevin Spear, talk about your guys' relationship and how you've guys grown even further uh, here with, uh, here in Walla Walla. Yeah, absolutely. I grew up with him. Uh, went to school with him and his older brothers. Um, and then when I saw he was on the art roster, uh, I thought it would be pretty cool. And he's actually living with me in my house, so we're spending a lot of time together. Um, but he's a good kid. He's got a good future ahead of him. And then going into that kind of next man up mentality, a lot of guys are beat up. Really, the Swedes only have two outfielders at this point. Spio jumps in a left. You've had some interesting combinations, and everyone's kind of been able to put things together and kind of a glue duct tape type of situation with some of the, some of the lineups but seeing that fight seeing guys out going claw and we'll get to a reason why we're asking you specifically but you see that type of fight see that type of competitiveness something that you have to love to see yeah absolutely i mean that's all you can do especially when these games get out of hand like this you just got to go out there and compete <clears throat> excuse me but you never know which game's going to be your last especially with uh covid Lost a lot of our college season, so I mean, anytime you get a chance to go out there, you got to play your hardest and uh, just see what happens. Also, now kind of a little bit of fun, you know, Players Weekend, you're spot uh, rocking the new uniforms. Turn around for a second. So you see it now. You have to explain it. It's not like it's a bad explanation. It's not like Kev on a bus, but talk a little bit about that with your playing career at Whitman and then kind of with the suites as well. Cap meaning a lot. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was a uh, voted two-year captain for my school, Whitman. Um, and even in high school, when I was a senior, just trying to trying to be a leader. Um, I mean, I love playing baseball. I love having the ball in my hands. And when I got all the guys are looking at me, I think there's no no better spot to be with uh, all the responsibility and all the power. I, I mean, I want the ball in my hands at the end of the game. We've kind of noticed that with the Sweets as well. It's not like it's anything really different. You brought that leadership into things with the Sweets and. A new group, a new bunch, you've kind of stepped up and kind of rallied some of the younger guys learning behind you. Talk about that in a spot very different from playing at Whitman with guys who you'll play with for three months. And further than that in terms of life, but also in terms of baseball, you're not with them very long and get them to follow you and steer the ship right ahead have to be something you're pumped to see and especially going back to LC, well, going to LC State now. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a really a lot of really really good ball players, and especially the young guys. They they're really really talented, but you know they're they're dumb. I mean they're <laughs> they're freshmen, so they they got a lot of learning to do. But I mean that's that's kind of what I'm here for, um, just trying to do my part um, because I mean they've got a shot. Everyone on this team's got a shot, and sometimes it just t takes a nudge in the right direction. And if I can do that, then I'm gonna do it. Leo, appreciate your time, like always. Sweets fall tonight, but Leo Rivera, another good outing, especially offensively, doing a good amount defensively like you always do. Our high-efficiency player of the game, this has been Sweets Postgame, presented by Cascade Natural Gas.